Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. Let's jump right into things and continue our journey, our probably fruitless journey towards the Nuclear Throne. If you want high-level Nuclear Throne gameplay, you can probably find it elsewhere on the Internet. Right here, what you're going to find is just a guy who's having fun exploring the latest game from one of his favorite developers. So last time we played is Fish. Fish, pretty cool guy, kind of the mascot. He's sitting there on the log, strumming his awesome guitar. And I suppose if we were going in order, we'd play as Crystal. But hey, guess what? I know I like Crystal already, so I'm not even going to waste time playing as Crystal. Crystal would probably be one of the characters I would mainline when I actually start trying to push through this game in a serious fashion. So... We can kind of take a look through the other characters. If you guys like anything you see here in terms of the look of the character, in terms of the ability of the character, or the active ability of the character, let me know in the comments below and I'm happy to play as that character. I probably will not play as every character in this series. I will find the characters that speak to me, the characters that I like, or the characters that you want to see, and I will play as those. Now, as we start things out here on this episode, I think I'm going to play as Rebel. So Rebel was buffed fairly recently to actually increase her uh, ally ability, her ability, her active ability, the one that you have to activate. And uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've played very briefly as her. Uh, every time there's a patch, you notice these little exclamation points. Every time there's a patch, you actually do have to go in and uh, reach certain small milestones within the game to unlock all the characters. Uh, so that's why you'll notice those little exclamation points just to indicate I haven't played as that character uh, as of yet. So Rebel's main ability is the ability to create allies. And we'll go ahead and do that now. This probably isn't a time I would do that if this was a regular game. Uh, but there you go. As you can see, we send out a burst of bullets and we create an ally who's going to run around and shoot people for us and that's pretty cool you might also notice that that cost us to health so it is a bit of a risk reward kind of thing you want to do that equation in your head and determine uh, when we think that's actually going to work out because it's not always going to be a good risk reward scenario so i picked up that life there and my uh my little helper despawned my ally all right, so we've got a crate here, present crate. I don't know. I'm still really, really learning the game and really learning a lot of the mechanics that govern the game. I know if you see a yellow ammo chest, a large yellow ammo chest, you should equip the weapon which you want ammo uh, for. But I don't know about those present looking chests, the ones with the bows on them. I don't know how those work. I don't know if those are the, exactly the same. And I'm just imagining that the others don't have bows on them or not. So that's one of the cool things about sort of playing a game for the first time and and learning it. Let's see if we can get a, a lined up shot here. There we go. That's what I like to see. Ooh, that was close. Don't want to do that. Now those little ammo crates can just have anything in them. Um, I'm not sure if th that's been changed at all to reflect giving you ammo for the weapons you actually have equipped. Uh, because as of right now, I've gotten bolts and bullets, which are both uh, ammo types for weapons that I have equipped, which actually... Whoa, okay, took a big hit there. As you can see, one of her other abilities is that when she does take damage, she does that little uh, spread shot. Wow, that was not what needed to happen right there. Uh, let's concentrate. Let's actually uh, play. It's been a little while since I played, uh, so, you know, I am probably a little rusty. So this is the one I'm talking about here, the standard ammo chest. I have my pistol equipped right now, so this should give me bullets, and it did, which is good because I really needed bullets. Uh, let's go over here and break all this stuff before we finish the level. Uh, you know, once you finish a level, you are kind of done. That portal's going to pop, and if you haven't gotten anything else throughout the rest of the level, you're kind of screwed. So you want to make sure to finish up everything you want to do on a level before killing the final enemy. So we'll take our mutator here. What do we want? We want uh, melee range. Some kills regenerate ammo, no damage. Boiling Veins are really a really good talent, uh, but right now I'm not really in a position where I'm going to encounter much fire or explosives, though so, it's going to happen later on quite, quite a bit. And uh, enemies touch you take damage. I think right now we're a little low on ammo, so yeah, uh, some kills regenerate ammo. I think that's the one that makes sense for us right now, and uh, we're going to kind of move through the game under the understanding that ammo is king, and I miss a lot. So anytime I have an ammo producing talent or producing mutation, I'm probably going to take it, uh, because that's something I know about myself. I don't know if it is the perfect thing for uh, playing the game or not. I'm going to pick up this machine gun real quick. Uh, you know, there are going to be, of course, people who've already figured out and weighted the talents, uh, what's valuable, what isn't, etc. Uh, but right now I'm going to pick up the talents which I know have an effect for me. So I probably should be using my crossbow. 
since that's going to do a lot of damage from an extreme range. And we're going to finish off the big bandit. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. Got something over here, SMG. Not a fan of the SMG. Wastes a lot of ammunition, in my opinion. The machine gun actually, I think, to me, is, is a really nice weapon uh, because it has that ability to rapid fire. Uh, but unlike the something like the assault rifle, it is uh, it's an ammo conserving weapon, uh, which is weird to say about a machine gun because a machine gun is kind of a gun that you just spray and pray with uh, in battle. But uh, actually here, some controlled bursts uh, allowing me to, to to save a lot more ammo than I would with something like an assault rifle, which fires a three uh, a three shot burst. Decisions, decisions. The shovel is a great weapon. I'll kind of show you why. This is why. It is a melee weapon, but look at all that. It's really slow, it deflects bullets, and it hits really, really hard. Um, it hits through walls, it, you know, it, there's a lot going on with this particular uh, particular weapon that makes it uh, pretty, pretty nice to have. Uh, but... I don't know that I can really necessarily work that out with... Uh, oh, get it, get it, get it. And I guess I'm stuck with the shovel because I kind of didn't plan out my finish there. So yeah, we've got the shovel now um, and the machine gun. All right, stress, high rate of fires, HP gets lower, damage taken is dealt to enemies on screen, boiling veins again, uh, asking us, please, please take me. And it's actually getting to a point in the game uh, where I could use boiling veins. So that might be something to take and uh, more item drops. I'm just gonna take boiling veins because we are already under 50% health. So uh, little incidental things like explosions and whatnot uh, that would normally just absolutely lay waste to us uh, now, maybe not going to be so bad. And we're about to encounter fire in the next... Oh, in the next level. So, uh, yeah, if we can make it to the next level. So I think it is smart to uh, go ahead and take something like Boiling Veins to try and plan ahead. Oh, a little life. I need that. I take something like Boiling Veins to plan ahead for the Scrapyard, which is the next area that's coming up. So... Uh, yeah, I guess a, a little semi-smart play on my part. I don't know. Uh, remembering, got to be careful with these rats. Really got to be careful with these rats, because that happens. Uh, yeah, stuck on the edge of the wall there. Oh, we get our crossbow back. Um, not really sure that I want it at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of skating on a razor's edge right now with one health, so... Uh, yeah, I might as well just go balls out and just stick with the shovel. And uh, not planning to die, but uh, expecting that I will die, and we'll kind of just get a chance to start fresh with a new loadout and everything. And, uh, you know, not make the same mistakes that we made on this run, I guess you would say. Okay, Throne Butt, ally, higher ally thro uh, fire rate. So Throne Butt, uh, Throne Butt is the thing that you will get that uh, enhances everybody's active ability. So no matter what character you have, uh, Throne Butt will have a different uh, ability, never the same. Uh, buff from Throne Butt. Sharp Teeth, Damage Token, uh, we've been, been there, done that. High Impact, Corpses Flying Hit Harder, that's actually a pretty good one for what we have. Or Rhino Scan's gonna give us uh, more HP, sure, why not? Uh, it still keeps us under 50%, so we still get the benefits from uh, our uh, explosive ability. There we go, batting some bullets back at these guys. Again, you know, the, the fire rate on this thing is just so low. Um, I think a lot of people would say that the sledgehammer is probably the optimal melee uh, weapon because it is uh, longer range and faster on the swing. Uh, it doesn't have, of course, the three swing range that this has, but, ooh, the flak cannon. Uh, you know, I'm going to take the flak cannon just for giggles because it's insane. I absolutely love that weapon. Uh-oh. Yeah, those little ninja guys sleep or they look dead and then they jump out at you. Uh, yeah, terrifying stuff can occur with those guys. So not too much going on up here, so we will continue to move in this direction. Still got 51 ammo on our flat cannon, so that's pretty darn good. I'm not gonna complain about that. A roly-poly exploding guy. I am not gonna be killed by you today. There we go, those guys do explode into a, uh, into a spread shot of uh, toxic goo. And this flat cannon is just great for sort of clearing rooms that you can't quite see everything. Uh, you know, I can't, I, well, I can see everything in here, but if I couldn't, you know, I just kind of fire a flat cannon in there and probably just clear out that room nice and easy. So, you know, it's using a lot of ammunition, or it's a low ammo weapon, but it's uh, just, it just killer. It just absolutely uh, wrecks people. So as you might remember last time, we actually made it through to the Crystal Caves, uh, and I absolutely died within about a minute of getting there. Uh, but um, 
we're gonna try to duplicate that again. I mean, you know, this is a, sort of a busted run at this point, but uh, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna give up on it, most certainly. Uh, please hit him, thank you. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, okay, that sounded like fun. Oh, thank you, yes, come in here, come in here with me. So that I can kill you with my flak cannon. Uh, a lot of experience, I think, just lost up there. Uh, big bummer. You've got to be able to mobilize yourself and uh, get up there and grab that XP when the uh, opportunity uh, presents itself. And as you can see here, kind of stuck. So we are out of ammo on our flat cannon. And I've lost my mouse cursor. <laughs> so one of the things that isn't working yet in this early... Uh, access game is uh, constraining the mouse cursor to the screen. So my mouse cursor was just over on my second monitor doing a dance, and I could not aim my weapon. So uh, let's just kind of keep things in check here. Now here's our friend who will uh, open up access to a secret area, uh, but he'll also call the cops on us if we shoot him. Um, unfortunately, I'm not really sure I see a way around that, and in fact, our friends have shot him for us. So let's just try to get out of the level alive, maybe. Um, that's kind of going to become the goal right now. Uh, we have had the popo called on us, uh, so let's just try to survive. Uh, auto shotgun, I like the sound of that. I think we're going to stick with that, though. So we've got something somewhere that we need to kill, I guess. And we have died. Well, there you go. There you have it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into another game right away here. We're going to continue to play as Rebel, and we're going to try to uh, make better progress than we did before. I think I got a little caught up on that flat cannon. Probably shouldn't have become as dependent on that as I did. Uh, should have stayed dependent on good fundamentals, shooting, hitting stuff, uh, not just uh, blanketing an area with uh, a spread weapon. But yeah, just one of the things I have to focus on, obviously, is, is aiming and fundamentals. Um, I get a little carried away, I think. There we go. We'll take a lot of XP. Love to get a level up on level 1. That's kind of like... That's a huge thing. Actually managing to get a level up on level 1 is a really big deal. And we got it. Because very often you're just not given the sort of uh, hand that will allow that. And that's always a huge bummer. When you, you spawn into a level that just... It's not any fault of your own. No, own there's just not enough enemies in order to actually get a... Uh, in order to actually get a level up on the first level. So it really, really sucks when that happens, but that's how random generation works sometimes. It sucks. Kills lower your reload time. We've got thrown butt. We've got plus melee range and scarier face. I like scarier face a lot. It makes enemies easier to kill. Of course, you know, I have that little problem of actually hitting enemies. So, um, eh, I don't know. But scarier face, I think, is, is whoa, is too good uh, to, to uh, pass up. So we are definitely going to take scarier face. Our spread shotgun uh, will kind of benefit from scarier face. Not as many pellets should need to hit the enemies in order to kill them. Uh, but, uh, you know, always remember, if I'm talking anything that sounds technical about this game, if I'm saying something that sounds like I know what I'm talking about, always remember that I absolutely do not, and I could be totally making something up. Uh, so the assault rifle, we talked a little bit about that earlier. It is that three-shot burst weapon. Uh, I don't like it too much. Um, yeah, I just, I don't like it. Uh, because, you know, I have that little problem with aiming, and if you don't put the shot on target, uh, it can get really bad when you have a three-shot burst. Uh, you can waste a whole lot of ammunition. But they really seem to want me to take that assault rifle. Uh, I, however, am going to refuse. So if we can get a little more life, I think I should probably spawn an ally, but uh, I, I... Abilities that use your health are so scary to me. Uh, because I, I totally regret, or I totally feel like I could regret making the move at any second. Alright, so... Jesus, Lord in heaven above. I was about to say, now that we've got a little health, I think it would be a good idea to go ahead and use our ally. And then immediately after picking up that health, I took damage. Is that the assault rifle again? Yeah, it is. Alright, are you trying to tell me something? Let's take the assault rifle. Maybe don't just stand in his uh, direct line of fire. That could be really, really helpful. Oh, it is just not working out for me here. 
I have to say, I think uh, the fact that I'm not using Rebel's ability means that I'm handicapping myself. So I would be much better off with someone like Crystal or someone who has a, just an all-time active ability, even someone like Fish, whose role I really rarely use. Stress, higher fire rate as your HP gets lower, uh, more item drops, shotgun fingers bouncing farther. We do have a shotgun, so that could be nice. Kills regenerate ammo. I think we're going to go with Rabbit Paw because, you know, we want more item drops. Here we go. Into the sewer. Oof, all right, that was a weird chain reaction of death. Come on, sewer rats. Now, sewer rats usually take about two shots to kill, so I don't necessarily mind wasting that extra bullet on them from my uh, assault rifle. Get back. Okay. So this big bloated mama mouse, uh, deadly killer rat, needs to be dealt with in a uh, thoughtful fashion, and I think that's what we've done there. So I, I kind of like where we are right now. Uh, the triple machine gun is an amazing weapon that absolutely eats ammunition. Uh, but it's an amazing weapon. <laughs> so, oh, we had a Mimic there. Take that, Mimic. You had the misfortune of being placed in such a way that you died immediately. Is that our final enemy? There he is, okay. Didn't really feel like I explored that level, but I think I hit everything I needed to hit. Uh, extra feet, more speed. Enemies touching you take damage. Uh, okay, stronger attract power, which actually is, is really good, so I'm going to take that. That'll allow me to stop missing out on some of the ammo uh, that I am missing out on when I don't move quite fast enough. Wow, that happened. All right, well, at this point, I think it's probably best if I go ahead and call it here. A bit of a shorter episode. I'm usually aiming for 20 to 30 minutes per episode with this, but uh, I think my frustration level is going to dictate that I stop playing right now. Verdict on Rebel. I think Rebel is probably a really good character if you consistently use her ally ability well, and I don't. So is she a good character for me? Probably not. Next episode, I think we're going to explore uh, most likely. I really like uh, YV, and we're going we're gonna to explore... Uh, also, probably Robot, because, yeah, as you can see, Robot eats guns, uh, which means that uh, it actually uh, gives you something to do with all those extra guns that you end up leaving behind in any given level. So uh, eat guns and basically get more ammunition, I do believe it is. So we're probably going to try those two in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to bid you adieu. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take it easy.